Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video is my empty products, things that I used up. I used up quite a bit of products since the beginning of May and obviously into this middle of the month of June. Um, they're products that I really love, a lot of them. Um, I don't know offhand because I've been collecting them for so long if I didn't like a lot of the products, but I just know that I have to do this video now and get rid of these things before my husband has a fit. He was like, why is all this trash in my downstairs closet? And I kept telling him, don't worry about it you know, don't worry about it. So I figured I have enough um, of a collective haul to show you guys everything I used up in the month of May and June. So if you're interested in seeing all of my products, keep watching. So the very first thing that I used up and something I'm quite sad about is the Glow Recipe Banana Souffle Moisture Cream. I don't even know if it will focus for you. Um, this is a great moisturizer. I only use this at nighttime. I 100% will be repurchasing it. I might have maybe one or two uses. I use a lot of it. I like to especially focus around my nose, around my mouth, my forehead, pretty much everywhere. Um, the smell of banana is not offensive. Like some um, face creams, I notice a lot of times I hate scented face creams. It's so close to your nose. Sometimes they can be very offensive. But this one, I don't mind. And I don't love the smell of banana, but this one is not like an artificial smell. So it's quite pleasant. And it, and it doesn't linger, I should say. Um, I like it a lot. I think this is amazing if you have sensitive skin. Anything from this brand, this glow recipe, the pineapple is one of my favorite. Their pineapple glow serum, um, their watermelon stuff is some of my favorite. This is an amazing brand. I definitely will re be repurchasing it. Um, and I use it almost every night. I probably use it five nights a week and I love this. And it lasted quite a long time. I bought this... I'm gonna say around Christmas time and it's lasted me quite a bit of time because um, it's so thick and you don't need too, too much. Even though I use probably more than I should, you definitely only need a little bit and a little goes a long way. So I know it's a little pricey, but if you're looking for something for sensitive skin and you need a good night cream, I definitely recommend the Glow Recipe Banana Souffle Moisturizing Cream. Um, again, this is in no order. I, maybe I didn't say that. I'm just gonna pick as I go and just show you randomly. Um, because it's such like a mix match of things that I emptied this uh, this month and last month. So the next thing I wanted to show you was the Juice Beauty um, Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Eye Cream. I have a lot, I have a real hard time with under eye cream because my eyes are so sensitive. I wear glasses, I have blue eyes, my eyes are very, very sensitive and I have astigmatism. So I notice anything, I don't know if it has anything to do with it, but I do notice anytime I put any type of eye cream, especially anything with scent, um, my eyes tend to water and burn. But I noticed with this, um, I didn't have a hard time using it. Um, and there was a lot of product. It took me about a year and a half to finally use this up. Um, I wouldn't have used it much longer if it didn't run out. Um, I probably would have tossed it. There is no expiration date, but I think two years would have been my max for something that goes under my eye. But I definitely recommend this and I will probably consider repurchasing it. Um, I did get the Ola Hendrix, I believe it's called for under eye, and I noticed that it's kind of bothering my under eye, so I use it very little, and I try not to go up near the lash line at all. So the next thing I used up is one of my favorite things in the whole world, and it's my Flower Bomb perfume. I'm having a trouble getting that little tiny bit out, and it's so expensive, so it's kind of driving me nuts. This is my favorite winter fragrance. Um, in the summer because it's so humid and we have so many mosquitoes and it's so hot plus I wear SPF and bug spray I don't typically wear a lot of perfumes and if I do it's usually the bum bum cream body spray version and a little bit of the um, lotion I'll use a little lotion in the summer something from Dove that's very light but I don't typically wear heavy perfumes except maybe if I'm going out in the evening with my husband for dinner or something like that I might put a little bit on but like I said it's so humid and it can be a little too much in the summer here but when I do wear perfume this is what I wear every single day in the winter time even if I'm going nowhere or if I'm in sweatpants or if it's snowing whatever I love this I think it's a perfect winter fragrance I know a lot of people wear it and I just have found that this is one of the only perfumes that does not give me a headache or is offensive in any way to me so if you're looking for a new perfume I definitely recommend it and I already have a new bottle of it so I'm good to go with that the next thing I want to show you is a self tanner um, that I, um, I don't know if I recommend this for beginners because 
it can be very streaky if you are not careful and it's the B tan I got this at Walmart last summer and it lasted me the whole summer and then um since May and June so I got almost I don't know, I got a whole summer season and maybe a quarter of a new season with it. So it did last quite long. Plus, it's not just me using it. It's me and my daughter. It's $9 at Walmart. It is very, very dark. You can see I have it on, but here's the problem. It definitely stains. Um, I didn't wash my hands quick enough. So that's kind of user error, not the product. Um, you definitely need a mitt when you use this and you need to work the product in. So if you're kind of a beginner, I would maybe pass, but it is very, very dark and you really only need the hour it says insanely dark one hour there's a bunch of different kinds you can get some that are less intense this is one of the more intense ones i've tried a couple of them i do like them but like i said you need to really work this in moisturize exfoliate shave and i would definitely recommend it for nine dollars i usually like the one from sephora um i can't remember the name of it i'll put it on the screen that's like 40 or 50 dollars but i can't justify using that constantly especially on my teenager um i need something that i can kind of I, I don't want to say that to be rude but she's like a kid so i needed something that was maybe a little less expensive for her um and that one works pretty well but like i said just really work it in and make sure you don't leave any street marks the next empties product i have is what my daughter likes to use when she showers and it's the cocoa butter and shea moisturizing body wash from Suave. I bought her every kind of body wash, the more expensive ones, the cheaper ones, and she always kind of goes back to the Suave. I think that it's the, um, it's very light, it's very summery, it's very coconutty, and she really enjoys it, and it's like a dollar eighty or something. It's very, very inexpensive. It's under two dollars. Um, and I don't mind if she uses a lot of it because it's so inexpensive. She's tried Dove, um, Olay, even more higher end ones. And she always goes back to this suave one. So I keep buying it for her. And I definitely recommend it for like teenagers and stuff or even adults if you um, don't want anything too heavily scented. She really loves this one. And it says it's as beautiful as Bath and Body Works. And you know what that is, what it kind of reminds me of the... Um, warm vanilla sugar from Bath and Body Works and she loves it and for under two dollars um you can't really beat that now you're gonna see a lot of Dove products I am a huge Dove um person I use Dove all the time it's like my main source of like body care deodorant face wash everything I think Dove is Probably the best products out there um that's just my opinion um most people love dove it's so good and i just recently found this dove it's called um dryness relief with jojoba oil um and it is so so good um i had recently stopped at target because i needed a new one and i just like to try their different ones the only one that i don't like is the cucumber melanin it's not the product itself i just don't love the smell of cucumbers but this hope this one with the jojoba oil is so good i wish i could describe what it smells like it almost smells it smells like fall like just the fall time it's very but not like you can't use it in the summer it's not offensive at all it's very light it's not a heavy scent maybe it's the jojoba oil that i'm actually smelling in it and it's so moisturizing it definitely would help if you have any type of like itchiness um I try not to wash my legs a lot because my legs get very itchy. Um, I just kind of let the soap run down them. Obviously I wash like the more intimate parts and like my arms and legs, I don't scrub them every time I'm in the shower. And this definitely has relieved any type of irritation or itchiness. And it's the dryness relief with jojoba oils. And I found that these are actually cheaper at Target. I found this for $5.99 because Dove and my local grocery store is like $8.99 and it can be very, very expensive for a drugstore product so i like to get them at walmart or target and speaking of dove here is another dove product this is a new one um this is the my husband for well let me tell you what it is sorry this is the conditioner with mango butter and almond oil that's the scent it's the mango one my husband loves the Dove hair products, so I try to just stick with the shampoo and conditioner from Dove for him and I, and I personally love it too. Um, I know people like to invest in more expensive shampoos, but I really like the Dove ones, and this one 
smells like candy. It's like, I'm not a big mango person either. Banana and mango aren't like my favorites, but I can tell you what this is. It's like candy, it's so good. And I definitely recommend it. Now this one is for dull and dry hair. I'm definitely would say this has a lot of moisture in it. Let me see if I can kind of, there you go. This one is definitely moisturizing if you are in need of moisture in your hair, especially like in the winter time when it's very, very cold, I definitely recommend this. I feel like this kept my hair from being frizzy. This was amazing. And again, this is the mango butter and almond oil. And I'm gonna say that it's probably the almond oil that really makes your hair nice and moisturized. And the shampoo and the conditioner, sometimes, I don't know if you've ever noticed that Every once in a while, your shampoo and your conditioner, even if it's the same scent, will kind of be just a hair different. That is exactly the same with the conditioner and the um, shampoo. And people compliment me. They always say, oh my God, your hair smells like candy. It smells so good. So if you're looking for something pretty heavily scented, but definitely, definitely moisturizing, I would go for that one. So a face wash that I used up, now I don't often use face washes. Um, the only thing I ever, since I was young, like 11 or 12, the only thing I've ever washed my face with, so you're talking from 10 years old to 33, is Dove Unscented Soap. Um, I have never really, thank God, and I, I'm a little lucky for this, I've never been prone to breakouts. My sister is, my poor daughter is, my husband is. I'm not, but I have recommended for all of them, and that's what they usually use on their faces, the Dove Unscented Soap. It's amazing. It's gentle. It's the only thing I really ever use daily on my face, especially because I have so sensitive. When I was younger, I used to get rashes on my face, and my face would swell. Um, I've had shingles. My skin is so sensitive, and ever since I got shingles when I was in my early 20s, my skin has been more prone to being very sensitive to things. But I picked this up, this fresh, and I think I got it because it was like a soy face cleanser. And um, I know it's so hard to see. Um, and this was highly recommended on YouTube and online. So I got it and I gave it a try. It doesn't lather a lot and you don't need a lot either. It is quite pricey. It does have a very light cucumber smell. That's the only thing that kind of put me off from it and made me like it made me um, not want to grab it often. But when I would wear like a heavy makeup day like today, I would love to wash with this first and then my Dove soap. Like I said, it doesn't um, lather a lot, but it's really good. And it says it gently cleans the faces and your face and your eyes. And I did notice I could kind of wash my eye with it. And I'm sorry, I didn't even say what it is. I'm like, I need to slow down a little bit. So it's the Fresh Soy Face Cleaner. So I will definitely link this below. Um, I do think it's a little pricey, but if you're looking for something for very sensitive skin, I would recommend that and I would recommend the Dove Unscented Soap. Okay, kind of getting away from skincare, I just grabbed these two things. I don't burn candles. I have a cat and I have two small dogs um, and I just get nervous. If I am going to burn a candle, which is like once a year, I always keep it up high. Um, even though you keep it up high, cats climb, they drive me nuts. So I don't like burning candles at all. So what I like to do is get the wax melts and I do the wax warmers. And some, I do love the cinnamon stick, obviously not now going into summer, but I was just using up some of my winter fragrances and I have like a huge tub full of these little things. I just, every time I take a trip to Walmart, I grab one or two just to have them. Um, I have specific ones I like to use in winter, summer, fall, you know, each season. And then this is one of my favorite. This one was cinnamon stick. This one is mint and bergamot. And this one is amazing. <clears throat> this one's amazing. It's very fresh and clean and it smells like mint and a little bit of like, it's like minty and cologne and this one's great for spring and summer. I love it. And obviously cinnamon's great for Christmas time and all winter and fall long. <clears throat> Another one of these that I picked up now, this one's Sensationals. Sensationals and Better Home from Walmart are all $2. <clears throat> if you go to the other ones, they're like three to four dollars, but they're all really good. And I picked up this one. It's called Egypt. Um, I was kind of disappointed because 
this one scent that came out years ago called Turkish Mark Turkish Market, and it almost looked like it had India on the front, and it was so spicy and good. And I thought this one, this Egypt one, was gonna smell like it. When I first smelt it, that's what it smelled like, but it was kind of like dull, and you had to burn two of them to even get it to kind of like to throw the smell at all in your room. So I would pass on this one unless you like very mild scents. And again, this was the one sensational and it was Egypt. It didn't smell bad, but it was very, very light. Okay, so I have one more fragrance that I used up and it's sensational and it's the warm apple pie. This is by far my absolute favorite fall and winter um, scent. Now, if you don't like spice, like very spicy scents, this does not smell like apples. I don't even know why it's called warm apple pie. I have a collection of these. I probably have about, I don't know, 10 of them downstairs in my closet. I like to keep them. Like I like to buy them when I see them because for some reason they're always out of stock, probably because it smells so, so good. Um, me and one of my girlfriends always buy all of them and her and I like fight over them. Not in like seriousness, we kind of just joke with each other because I'll go to the Walmart and buy them all and she'll be like, did you go to Walmart and buy all the warm apple pies? And we just joke about it, but her house smells like this, my house smells like this. It is the best Christmas and fall and winter like around halloween it even smells perfect for and it's very very spicy like nutmeg and cinnamon and it if you've ever had like a mold cider and it likes like you kind of boil boil the wine with a cinnamon stick and nutmeg and anise on like the stove pot and you let that simmer all day that's kind of what this reminds me of it's amazing and if you get a chance smell it it's from sensationals and it's a warm apple pie definitely highly recommend that one so i'm just going to go through the next few things kind of quick um the coffee that i really enjoy is the k-pods um starbucks cinnamon dulce these are very expensive so i don't buy them all the time but when they're on sale i like to grab them the next thing i used up was the snuggle um odor eliminator these are like 98 cents if you need something for your bathroom if you're having guest over these are really good and I definitely recommend them. I really like that. When we first moved into my new house, I just grabbed a couple of them for the bathroom and you can still smell them, they're great. So I used up two makeup products. I used up the Carbon Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara from L'Oreal. Great mascara, oldie but a goodie. Definitely recommend that if you like nice full lashes. Now I used up the Physician's Formula eyeliner i love 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 this eyeliner i already repurchased it everything that i've showed you so far i love i meant i should have said that so nothing bad so far this is eight dollars you can get this on amazon you can get this at walmart this is great it's super super black i can probably show you it's super black and pigmented i love it i think it's an amazing um, kind of like a dupe for the Kat Von D, or sorry, the KVD, which I also have the KVD, um, Trooper liner. Um, definitely, they're definitely like interchangeable. And the KVD ones are definitely interchangeable. I think they're both amazing products. The only difference is that one's $22 or $21 and this is eight bucks. This is a great liner. I definitely recommend it if you, you know, need a new liquid liner. And good old uh dawn dish soap um i like this to have in the house for obviously my dishes i keep it around to wash my dogs with especially um with tick and flea season especially being so hot and the fleas and the ticks um thank goodness fingers crossed we haven't had any fleas this year um i did get them tick collars because the ticks were so bad this year in our yard um we're having someone actually come professionally spray the yard because the ticks are just so bad and it scares me every single time they come in we have to go through their fur and make sure they don't have ticks so i like to keep the dawn soap i know not this one i just use the original one because i know that kills the fleas and um kills the fleas and ticks but i don't wash them i wash my chihuahua uh maybe every six weeks because he's so little and my shih tzu goes to get professionally groomed but if he needs a bath in between that's what we use so the next thing I used up, um, it's in here, it's kind of dirty, so I just kept the box, is the Dial Antibacterial, especially with everything going on, hand soap. This is the foaming one. This one's in 
citrus sunburst but any flavor is good and i just loved that it was antibacterial and i will definitely continue to repurchase that okay so the next thing i got is i like to keep um hiney wipes in the house for obvious reasons and i just picked these up because i was had an emergency and i didn't have a chance to get to the store um and they were just the cvs fragrance free ultra ultra soft cleansing wipes i don't flush these obviously but these are amazing they were so thick and good and they definitely had no fragrance which i prefer this is a silly thing, but I thought I'd share it anyway. I love these for a quick snack. The cheese heads from Frigo. Frigo. Um, these are my favorite cheese strings, if you were ever wondering. Uh, for toothpaste, we used up, um, this month, we used up the Colgate Total White. Don't really love this one. It's very um, bacon soda-y, and it's just... A little too much baking soda for me and then we used up the colgate max fresh this one is so strong it keeps your breath fresh for hours i highly recommend this and my husband loves it it will almost give you like that burning effect but not in a bad way like in a really good way and then these are probably i've i wouldn't repurchase this one i repurchase the purple colgate all the time but this one is a pass for me this is the snuggle um blue irish bliss love it i repurchase it uh probably you get 56 loads i only use one pots because although i like my laundry to smell good i again have sensitive skin most of my family does so i only use one so this will last me a month and a half already repurchased it it does linger when i open up my linen closet everything smells like this it's amazing i prefer the little pods over the beads because i notice sometimes the little beads don't always disintegrate this i've never had any issues with and i've been using the snuggle for about six six or seven years now these were these um febreze plugins um my daughter picked out peony and cedar this is so strong she had to literally turn it on the lowest setting and the one night she had to unplug it because it was very strong we smelt it through the entire upstairs but these are really really nice for your bathroom for your bedrooms but like i said this peony and cedar one was so strong she literally had to unplug it the one night but i will definitely pop up on screen my absolute favorite one that i recommend to everyone it smelled so good when i would when people first came into the house when we first bought the house they were like oh my god what's that scent so i will definitely pop that on screen so you have an idea of what i would definitely recommend I definitely like those Febreze ones. <clears throat> the next thing I used up, which I use up every probably two weeks, I get the 75 count, is the Great Value Disinfecting Wipes. I'll buy these or I like to buy the name brand ones, but like, I, you know, with everything going on, sometimes you can't. So I pick up whatever I can. Um, I love these for my countertops to wipe down my toilet seats with, handles, door handles. Clickers, remote controls, I mean, we call them clickers. The remote control, our cell phones, our shoes, anything you can think of, I wipe down right now with these book bags, handbags. These are amazing, and I usually prefer the lemon-scented ones, but sometimes I'll buy the green one, but most of the time I buy lemon. So the next thing I purchased were these Soleil Advance, Sensitive Advance 5-Blade Razors. Um, I'm sure there's nothing wrong with these. I know a lot of people love these, but my favorite razors are the Dollar General five blade ones that are five bucks. They usually are in a green package. They're the best. They have that like slimy ring around them that keeps you very moisturized, but they are disposal razors. I use them for about a week and then toss them. So I don't always buy like the more expensive ones, but these were okay. I, I mean, if you need a razor and you like the five blades, these really weren't bad. I just... I prefer the Dollar General ones, but these weren't bad at all. The next thing I purchased was, it was just on a whim. Um, it was on sale. It was super inexpensive. It was like $2.99 at my local uh, grocery store. It's called uh, the brand Ivory, and it was in the scent Aloe. Um, this one was okay. It was definitely mild, 
it um, smells very clean, like almost like a baby shampoo. Um, I would definitely repurchase this. I used it for shaving and it wasn't bad. I really didn't mind it. So I had never seen this brand before. I really like the packaging. It's very simple um, and it definitely had a very clean, nice scent and it lingered. And I definitely would recommend it if you were looking for an inexpensive body wash. It reminded me definitely of like a little mix of baby soap and just something fresh. I do have a package of the razors that I love. I use a package up. These are the razors, so they aren't Dollar General brand. They are the Chloe 5 blade compared to Venus extra smooth, but I like these. These are the best ones. They are five blades. They last me about two weeks. I can get about two weeks out of the razor if I don't leave them in the shower, and I love them. For five bucks, you get three, and they're amazing. My husband and I love these. So I got to show you, that makes me feel happy. And another toothpaste that I love is just the Crest 3D White. Everybody loves it. So I just thought I'd throw that one in there. I am almost done, I promise. Um, just some simple uh, face wipes. These are really good, um, especially if you have sensitive skin. Um, like I said, I guess uh, Dove came out with the mango. It's that mango and almond butter. They have a whole line of it. I love the body wash. Again, it lingers. It smells so good. It's so good under your arms. Like if you lift your underarms, you still smell it. If you uh, just, it just lingers on your body, this mango. And again, Dove is so good. I go through so many Dove products. I love them. I definitely recommend Dove products. Dove shampoo is my husband's favorite, favorite one. It's the one with avocado and calendula, C-A-L-E-N-D-U-L-A. I'm not sure how to say it. Extract, which is a floral extract, I would assume. Oh, it's so good. Now, this one is so strong. You need to be careful. If you have a very sensitive nose, this one lingers and lingers and lingers. My sister came up to me and said, oh my God, your hair is so strong. Um, I became kind of nose blind to it after a day or two because it's your own hair, but this one is amazing. It smells so good. And again, it's the avocado and calendula, calendula, I'm not sure, extract. Again, these are like $3.99 for the smaller bottles and they are amazing. Okay, I have... Mm, I have three more products that I'm going to show you. The last thing I, the last three things I used up was the Dove Original Clean deodorant. It's the only deodorant that I can use. I've been using it for about 10 years. Um, it's the only one that doesn't irritate me or um, make me break out. I love this one. I definitely recommend it if you have sensitive skin. It's one of my favorite deodorants. It's the only deodorant I use. Then I used up the NYX, I don't know why I'm having such a hard time, I don't know if it's the lighting. The NYX Proof Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer, amazing. Um, I stopped buying high-end eyeshadow primer because I found this and I love it. It's the Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer, it's great, it's clear, and I love the little applicator. It's just like a little doe foot applicator and it dries clear and I love it and it's sticky but like in a good way. And last but not least is the Instant Age Rewinder in light. This is the best concealer I've ever used. I love it for under my eyes and spot concealing. It's amazing. I like getting, I like getting the brightener. I like getting the deeper skin tones to contour with. This is amazing. I definitely recommend it and it's inexpensive. And I think it has beat and trumped any high-end drugstore. This is my favorite and I definitely recommend it if you are looking for a good concealer. I'm sure everyone has used it. It blends out perfectly and I highly recommend it. So that will bring me to the end of my empties products of the last month and a half. I hope you really all enjoyed this. I hope you all subscribe because I would really love you to be here. Definitely give me a thumbs up so I know you enjoyed this kind of um, content. Um, I hope to have a boohoo haul coming up very soon. I'm just waiting for my package. I would like to do my favorite like summer sandals that I have. Um, if you have any suggestions for me, definitely leave it down below. I have a lot of ideas of what I want to do. I think I'm going to do um, my judgy, because 14 year olds are all very judgy, um, rates my outfits. I think that would be really funny. Um, and I was thinking maybe of having her buy me a few outfits, like uh, seeing if she knows my style, which she probably would. Um, girls are kind of good about that. They kind of 
get to know their moms well. So if you're interested in seeing any of those upcoming videos, definitely hit the subscribe button and stick around and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.